It's David. You in the building? Just entered the lobby. Sorry to pull you out of sick leave so soon, but uh, we've got a situation. A breaking out of Milwaukee Junction factory. Meet me at the helipad. I have to see Pritchard first. Something's wrong with my retinal enhancement. Frank's on the second floor in the tech lab. Make it quick. People's lives are at stake. About time. What happened? You get stuck in an air duct on the way over? Yeah, nice to see you too, Francis. Something's wrong with my retinal display. Can you fix it? If it's what I think it is, probably. Of course, it might seem. Looks like your left and right imaging processors weren't completely in sync. But don't worry, your sentinel health implant will kick in soon, repairing any damage that might have caused. Your retinal display should be fine now. Its recognition software won't be picking up hostiles yet, but you should be seeing radar and targeting reticules. Biomedical data too, if you're in pain. Right. We done here? Because Seraph is waiting for me at the helipad. I know. Radicals have broken into our manufacturing plant and taken hostages. Maybe this time you'll actually save people. Lucky for you, I'm gonna ignore that comment. We're done here. Where are you, Adam? You don't have time to mess around. Get to the helipad, or something seriously bad is gonna happen. Christ, Adam, while you were strolling around the offices, the situation got worse. Meet me in the chopper, I'll explain. Welcome back, Jensen. Didn't think we'd see you around here for a while yet. You know how it goes, Malik. Duty calls. Don't I know it. I was in my wingsuit halfway to the top of the Renaissance Center when I got the 911. But you? Six months is a hell of a short time to come back from the dead. You sure you're ready for this? Are you suggesting I'm not? Just asking the question. I was one of the ones who pulled you out of that mess. Not a memory I want to relive, and I don't have to wake up to the reminder of it every day. I'm fine. If you say so. The boss is already on board, arguing with the DPD's tactical response team. They've got the plant surrounded, but Mr. Seraph wants you to go in first. Are you all set here? Because the sooner we take off, the better it will be for everyone. I'm ready. Great. Then let's get airborne. Eight people, Adam. Eight good men and women whose only crime was to come to work today. And those so-called pro-human purists slaughtered them. All of them? You sure? If we're lucky, the plant manager might still be alive, Josie Thorpe. They needed her to get into the administration wing. But SWAT isn't holding out much hope for her survival. We'll see about that. So what am I looking at here? Who are these guys? I told you. Pro-human purists. The same purists who've been firebombing limb clinics all over the country. They broke in a few hours ago, right after we moved the Typhoon in for assembly line factory. The Typhoon? Megan's team was testing it the day that bastard... Who's on point for these guys? Adam, I, uh... I know you and Megan were once... Who is on point for these guys? Goes by the name of Sanders. That, that's him there. But he isn't augmented, Adam. So he can't be one of the mercs who attacked us. Didn't have a problem killing innocent people, though. Yeah. And he did know exactly how to get inside the plan. So how do you want me to handle him? I don't. Not right away. Your first priority is to recover the Typhoon. I can't let SWAT inside until you've got it. But as far as rules of engagement go, I'll defer to you. Lethal or non-lethal? I'm not about to take any chances. Not this time. Lethal it is. But remember, Josie's still in there. And I'd hate to see any more of our people get caught in the crossfire. You remember what it's like in there? A lot of tight and closed hallways? But the labs themselves are pretty open. 
high ceilings. So you want something you can use from a distance or up close? Give me something with distance. If I get too close, I'll take them out personally. Just try not to break anything expensive. The Typhoon should be in the factory labs, but Frank will tell you more as you go in. I've got him running comms. Terrific. Anything else? Keep your eyes open for Josie. Now free her if you can, but the Typhoon is your number one priority. We developed it for the alphabet agencies, and if we don't deliver it to them intact, and still a secret, well, I'm sure you'll get the job done right. Gentlemen, prepare for landing. Jensen, it's me, Pritchard. Where are you? On a roof overlooking the plant. Good. Your point of entry should be through shipping and receiving. Should be, Francis. What the hell does that mean? We have an employee entrance there. Heavily guarded by purists, no doubt. So, if you're not a fan of the frontal assault, I suppose you could try accessing the building's roof. Richard, I'm in. Nicely done, Jensen. May I ask how? A vent on the roof. It'll be in my report next time we discuss security loopholes. Oh, goody. I'll be sure to take notes. The Typhoon is in the factoring labs. There's an elevator just past the assembly labs that will take you to it. Got it. Anybody seen D-Rag? Probably smoking a cigarette. Why? He shouldn't be wandering off like that. See, what's his ball on people like Jensen, I just tried to unlock the assembly lab door, but my override codes aren't working. Someone's changed the protocols. What? Didn't you plug the... I'm on it. But until I find this particular breach and fix it, you'll have to hack the door manually. Access granted. Richard out.
What's he looking for? Who could these fuckers are lying to like that? Just like Zig said. Hope Zig knows what he's doing. Too bad. Step away from the console. Now! else would I be? Patch me to Seraph, now. Adam, it's David. You got the Typhoon? Yeah, but you were right about there being something more behind this. Because I've also got a dead purist in here with some pretty interesting cerebral implants. Don't touch him. We'll need an expert to recover his neural hub. In case it's booby-trapped. Copy that. What about Sanders? SWAT's pressure me to let them off the leash. Find them before they do, and deal with them.
me. But I will if you don't give me a choice. If you didn't want to hurt anyone, you should have stayed home tonight. Oh, look! Seraph's attack dog! You're here to clean up before the police bust in? He thinks we're breaking the law. Shut up! All you body polluters break the laws. You're all the same! You're gonna have a hard time convincing people you're any different. Once they hear you had an AUG on your team. What? I found your attack dog in the factoring labs. Trying to cut through security with his implanted hackware. Nice try, Cholo. But I would never let one of you freaks on my crew. Ah! Back off, Lantern! I've got business to take care of, understand? If what you say is true, and I'm not saying it is, you hear? But I gotta... I gotta check things out. So, mia la vieja, we're leaving. <laughs> not a chance this ends now. Adam! Adam, what's happening? You what's your situation? Adam! Sanders is dead, but he didn't know about the AUG or the Typhoon. Somebody else set this up. Damn it. Okay, I want you back here now. The admin building has a rooftop terrace. Meet Farida on it. Copy. Jensen out. Not quite what you signed up for, is it, Jensen? Excuse me? Sneaking into your own factory to hide stuff while the boss holds the cops at bay? Don't get me wrong, I love Mr. Seraph. I just hate it when contracts become more important than people. I thought you did too. Sorry to break it to you, Malik. But that's just the way the world is. Doesn't mean I have to like it. You ready to go? Yeah, get me out of here, Malik. Your wish is my command. Climb in. New order's just in, Jensen. The boss wants Pritchard to examine the Typhoon ASAP. Copy that. Thanks for the lift. No problem. Hey, and, uh, Jensen. I just wanted to say, new look suits you. Like, you haven't missed a beat at all. Thanks. So, how's it feel? Being augmented. Excuse me? Don't take it the wrong way. I mean, I've got a few neuro enhancements myself. Discreet ones to help me fly better. But I chose to get them implanted. You didn't. Now that you had a chance to try him out, what do you think? I think people should stop asking me so many questions. Hey, I was just... Ever since I walked in tonight, people have been staring, gossiping about whether or not I'm ready for this. Your recovery was remarkably quick, Jensen. Most people need at least a year to get used to new limbs. So maybe I'm a fast healer. Or maybe I'd rather damn myself to hell than let what happened to me stop me from doing my job. Your job? Really? Because we both know that's not why you came back in here today, Jensen. Look, I want to find the bastards who did this as much as you do. So if I could help you in any way, all you gotta do is ask. I appreciate that, Malik, but right now... You've gotta get the Typhoon into the tech lab, right. See you later, then. Oh, and Jensen, the boss wants a face-to-face -face debrief in his office once it's secure. Roger that. Good night, Malik. I think it's disgusting how public opinion has turned on David so quickly. I don't buy for a second he was with Purity first. I think someone slipped him into Sanders. Well, if it isn't Mahatma Gandhi himself, come to honor us all with his life-preserving presence. If this is about the typhoon, I'll get to it in a minute. Now, Pritchard. I didn't risk my neck to have you lose it in a pile of CPUs and SCSI adapters. Well, look at you. 
using the big words. Don't think just because you hacked through the plant security system so fast that you're an expert on everything computer. There's a reason I can't examine the Typhoon yet. Do tell. For your information, I am running a diagnostic sweep on our network and router security to find out how Sanders Hacker got a hold of our codes. I'd have thought the first question to ask is, whose codes were they? Unless you already know. Stick to kicking down doors and shooting people, Jensen, and stop trying to do my job. I guarantee you we'll get along better that way. Oh, and by the way, Jensen, I know you've gone through a lot of physical changes of late, but you didn't become a woman. Stay out of the ladies' restroom. David and Hugh Darrow? What the hell am I? I'm telling you, Hugh, he might not have put the gun in Sanders' hand, but it was Taggart's speech to the UN that started all this. William Taggart is nothing if not a shrewd political operator. You know that, David. So for the sake of appearances, I have to look him in the eye and let him bullshit me? With a smile. Always with a smile. We'll talk later. Yeah, you wanted to see me? Yeah, how you feeling? I've had better days. Well, when we're done here, check him at Dr. Markovic at the Limb Clinic downtown. Get her to get a checkup. If you insist. Listen, about Sanders? You did what you had to do, son. As far as I'm concerned, Sanders got what he deserved. So don't start second-guessing yourself. I'm not. But that's not why I brought him up. Sanders was tricked into attacking us by the hacker I caught going after the Typhoon. He's the man we really needed to interrogate today. Exactly. Only he killed himself to prevent any chance of my doing that. That takes real dedication. Yeah, or training. You're sure he was augmented? I pulled his cables out myself. Yeah, well, the police are saying he's not, and they're refusing to let me see the body no matter how much money I threaten to pull from their retirement fund. Maybe someone else is offering more. So what do you want me to do, boss? We have to get a look at the corpse. You've still got friends on the force. You think, uh... You think one of them will let you into the morgue? Depends who I run into. Get over to the station and find a way inside. Because if that hacker was augmented, his neural hub might tell us who he was. Contact me when you've gotten a hold of it. You got it. Man, it's good to see you. I'm glad you're back. How are you holding up? I manage. I'm sorry about Megan. I know it must be hard. For a while, we thought you were a goner, too. Everything's going to shit. The attack on HQ, and now this mess with the factory. Yeah, tough times all around. How about you, Corella? You okay? I don't know. I... Uh, I fucked up. I mean bad. What happened? Well, a couple of months ago, me and Tyndall, you know, one of Pritchard's texts, we started sneaking out some neuropazine from one of the labs. Jesus, Tim. You realize this could get you fired, worse, arrested, if the company chooses to prosecute. What were you thinking? I know. It's just... it's complicated. I didn't want to do it at first, but there were good reasons. Anyway, now I want out, but Tyndall has security footage of me stealing the stuff and says he'll expose me if I ever stop helping him. I'm in a bad spot, Adam. I need that footage back. 
I know you're busy with everything that's going on right now, but I could really use your help. All right. Tell me more. Really? Wow. Thanks, Adam. I thought I was done for. The security footage will probably be on his apartment computer. Meet me in front of the subway station parking lot once you get a hold of it. I got it from here. This whole thing just brings back bad memories. I love working here, but it's hard knowing that any You got anything you want to buy or sell? I'm the guy you want to deal with. Everything's on the computer, right at your fingertips. Always a pleasure. It's your pleasure, friend. Be sure to tell all your friends. They're just not the cops. <laughs> Grayson hooked me up with some real tight merch. Fucking gunshot! Oh! You want to buy or sell something? It's all on the computer. What do you want? Okay, that's it.
Access granted. Stay out there, asshole! Ain't got nothing yet! What'll it be? See you soon. I ain't got nothing for you. Check with the man. And keep your hands where I can see them. Mr. Jensen, David Serov told me you'd be dropping by. I've just been reviewing the test results we received on you last week. Should I start rolling up my sleeves? Surprisingly, no. I see no trace of glial tissue buildup in any of your charts. It's been six months, Doc. Shouldn't I be under opposing shots by now? One would think, but these test results show no signs of implant rejection. If anything, the bond between tissue and electrode seems to be getting stronger. So I'm free to go? Well, Mr. Serif did ask me to discuss another topic with you. You are aware that several precautionary measures had to be put into place during your first surgery? Not all of my implants were switched on, I know. The damage caused by the hematoma had to be taken into account. Your brain needed time to recover, to get used to the mechanical neural processors and turn them on naturally over time. Cut to the chase, Doc. What does Seraph want? He feels that you might be ready to speed up the activation process using special software known as Praxis Kits. You mean I don't have to wait for my augmentations to kick in naturally anymore? You can, if you prefer. But Mr. Seraph did make a generous donation to Lim in your name thus ensuring that Praxis software linked to your particular neuro enhancements would always be available to you and you alone. Please, take a look. Very well, Mr. Jensen. Use it in good health. Protesting is not against the law. I know that, Bob. Adam, are you finished at the clinic? For now. Good. Right now I want to know who that corpse is. Head over to the police station and get his neural hub. And Adam, if you can't talk your way in, consider making a strategic retreat. There's got to be another entrance on the side of the building. Did you get it yet? Adam, please. 
You have to get that security footage back. I got the footage. You owe me one, Tim. Yeah, you got that right, Jensen. I mean, thank you so much. This is my life I just got back. Listen, I got a hold of a weapon mod. It's not much, but I figured a guy in your line of work could use it. You're lucky I don't report you to Seraph. I ever catch you doing anything remotely shady like this again, and I won't be as forgiving. You get that? Yeah, I get it. And for what it's worth, I'm really sorry. Eliza is so hot. You're crazy. Come no closer, Slick.
About time. You the home sec guy I was ordered to wait for? Tell Manderly I didn't get the memo until I was halfway through the autopsy. By then, it was too late to close him up again. Right. So you recovered the neural hub? Tricky bit of work that was. A few inches lower and the bullet would have fried more than just the pedal connectors. As it is, I can't guarantee you'll get anything useful out of it, other than the fact that it's been modified. Modified? With what? Some kind of wet drive. But hey, I didn't look. Ultraviolet means ultraviolet. And I know how touchy you guys get when it comes to matters of national security. He's all yours. The house has been detached, but I left it in the skull as ordered. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got paperwork to fix. Boss, I got the neural hub. Looks like it's been modified with some kind of wet drive. Pritchard should have a look at it. No, don't bring it here. Frank's not finished running his diagnostic, and I don't want to risk connecting any tech to our networks till he's done. Especially if the tech is military. So what do you want me to do? Take the hub to your apartment. I'll have Frank contact you there. Jensen, I have a message for you from one of your former colleagues, a Detective Alexander. Jenny, what did she want? She said she could use some help if you can make your way over to Grand River Road. And might I just add, as wonderful as it is to have you back at the office, I am not your personal dating service. These riots are David Sarah's fault. Where are you, Jensen? I haven't gone all night. Hello, Pritchard. I'm almost in my apartment now. Well, when you do get in there, connect the neural hub to your computer. I've created a secure tunnel, and I'll take over remotely. You can access my personal computer. Who do you think configured your security protocols? Mr. Jensen, I fixed up your apartment real nice. That special request you asked for works like a charm. There's lots of room behind the big screen. I put the stuff in there that you asked me to. And thanks for that little something extra you left. The wife will be happy. Welcome home. Richard, the hub's connected. I know. Now be quiet and let me concentrate. 
I need his name, Pritchard. Not his entire genetic history. That's not his DNA. It's the data he was trying to steal from us before he... My God, Jensen. Your suicide hacker didn't kill himself. You obviously didn't see his brain spidered all over the floor. No, no, you don't understand. The wet drive modification in this chip, it allows someone to hack through you. It turns you quite literally into a human proxy. So he wasn't working alone. Someone off-site was doing the actual hacking. Exactly. And whoever it was tried to hide his location by using multiple satellites. But I may have just traced him to here. An abandoned factory complex in Highland Park. Get me the address, Pritchard. Because if we're lucky, whoever pulled our terrorist strings might still be there. Adam? It's David. Let me guess. You're sending me to Highland Park. Not just yet. Frank's figured out why the network's been compromised. There's a persistent transmission coming from Derelict Row. Street gang territory? Well, our dead friend was posing as an Antioch. Who better to hide with than the D-Row ballers? Right. I'm on my way. Establishing security system. See you soon, Mr. How can I help you, Francis? You know why I'm contacting you. The transmission that's making a mockery of your security efforts? It's keeping a back door open into our network. None of us are secure unless you find the antenna that's sending it and shut it down. For you, anything.
Where the hell is De Silva getting all the stuff? I don't know. Some Irish guy. That's it? Some stranger offers to keep supplying us with enough firepower to take out a small army, and all you know is he talks funny? There ain't no such thing as a free lunch, you know. What does this guy want in return? Who cares? All I know is, that sneak-in job we've been waiting to do for ages, this mech is getting us the perfect weapon for it. So keep your mouth shut, and don't blow it for us. I thought we had cable. How 
comes I ain't getting nothing but Pike is news? That's all we do now. Ever since that purity dude went up on the roof and hacked the antenna. Sanders, friend? You let him up near the helipad? That he'd get us warm. And you believe it? Something big is going on in Highland Park. You know, Stewie didn't say much, but when he got close to the warehouse, there were already people in there. Was it the bangers? Boss, is that back door still open? No, good job. Frank just sent me the all clear. Now it's time to find the bastards who attacked us. Farina, are you standing by? On the line, boss. Jensen, you reading me? Loud and clear. Stay close to the antenna. Pritchard sent me the coordinates for it. I'm coming to pick you up. Mr. Jensen, your limo has arrived. You ready to leave? Yeah, let's go. Great. Detroit Local. This is Sarah Industries Bravo Echo Echo 008. Continuing on. Richard, you got coordinates on that factory yet? I was only able to pinpoint an approximate area, Jensen. So scout around and look for anything unusual. I'll keep monitoring the frequency in case it suddenly goes active. before we did. We can still reconfigure. Track this Yahoo down. It's too late for that. It's time to clean up. But what about the Dutchman? No loose ends, Barrett. I'll make the call. Get out of sight, now. Why, what's going on? They're here. 
the mercs who killed Megan and her team. Fuck! I'm going in. <laughs> Richard, patch me to Seraph. We may have a problem here. Wonderful. Adam, talk to me. This factory, where the hacker's signal originated, it's got FEMA signs all over it. I think it's some kind of internment camp. FEMA? That's impossible. Half of our contracts are government issue. I know, but the soldiers who attacked us are here. And from the looks of it, they've got access to some pretty impressive equipment. I better make some calls. Find out who's given the orders and get back to me. Why is he not walking out of here? Hang on, hang on. Gotta be one of these 
Man, they left us one hell of a mess. Those vents must be rat infested by now. Hey, who the hell are you? Cool it, guys. Orders are to pull out, but I can't leave without my stuff. Yeah, right. Getting into the barracks requires a security code. Tell me what it is, and maybe I'll let you through. Yeah. What's the passcode, pal? Listen, asshole. I'm gonna go get my stuff, and I'm gonna get back to the courtyard. Unless you want me tearing you a new one, you'll get out of my way. Understood. Hey, relax, pal. <laughs> Go on by if it's that urgent. I'm just doing my job. Yeah, just trying to do our jobs, pal. Frequency we tracked just got a burst of activity. I think these guys might be pulling out. Yeah, I've kind of been getting that feeling. Any idea who's running the show? They're using some kind of code. But from what I can gather, the guy giving the orders is still a level below you. Nice job, Pritchard. I'll find him.
Well, looky here. We got us a Boy Scout. He must be the one who mucked up my operation at the morgue. Get rid of him, Barry. Oh, that's gonna be a pleasure. This Boy Scout's got a few questions to ask. Your leader, the one who called you Barrett. Who is he? Why is FEMA sending you after Seraph Industries? FEMA? <laughs> you think FEMA gives a rat's ass about some rinky-dink biotech corporation's company secrets? <laughs> you got worse enemies than FEMA. Yeah, like who? Who? Get to Shanghai, Hengsha Court Gardens, <coughs> Penthouse. Tell him. <coughs> Tell him. <coughs> Tell him Barrett sent you straight to hell. Jensen, what's going on down there? Those soldiers just sticks out like you wouldn't believe. <coughs> they see you. No, I was flying dark in case it got hot. You all right? I'm fine. Patch me to Sarif. I'm getting you out of here first. Get to the LZ. I'll pick you up there. Yeah, take us back to Seraph Industries. None too soon if you ask me. Strap in and hold on!
Jensen, I need to speak with you. Meet me in your office right away. I'd love to, Francis, but I have to debrief Sarah first. I suppose you could, or you could hear what I have to say and see if that doesn't change things. Pritchard out. We need everyone on high alert. It's not only the pro odds you might want to get a tiger. A secret prison camp hidden in Highland Park? You've got to be kidding me. Excuse me. Mr. Jensen, isn't it? Sir, you have that charity dinner? In a moment, Isaiah. I was hoping I might run into you, Mr. Jensen. Bill Taggart. The founder of the Humanity Front. I know who you are. Yes. Yes, I imagine you do. As David Sarah's top security man, I imagine you have quite the file on me. But I assure you, Mr. Jensen, I am devastated by recent events. Really? I do not support what you and your company are doing to mankind. I believe it's extremely dangerous. But abolishing human enhancement technologies will only be achieved through legal means. I'll keep that in mind. This is your first day back since the accident six months ago, isn't it? Sir, we have to go. What happened to me was no accident. Ah, oh, my mistake. But it must have been stressful facing down a second incident so soon. I imagine it brought back all kinds of unpleasant memories. I appreciate your concern, Mr. Taggart, but it was nothing I couldn't handle. I'm a psychologist, Mr. Jensen. I know when a man is hiding behind words. The flesh may heal, but the mind is not always so resilient. You might want to keep that in mind. Now, if you'll be so kind as to excuse me. Gladly. Here, this is for you. It's a corporate passport encoded with your biometrics. I've set up a false flag routing which should get you to Henshaw Island without any problems. You're sending me to China? What about FEMA? FEMA's got nothing to do with this, trust me. We'll have better luck in China. How can you say that? I saw the bastard who killed Megan pulling his men out of that facility. I left one of those men dead in its underground storage bay. I know that, Adam. Frank was monitoring the whole thing. So I also know that before he died, that man gave you an address in China. I want you to check it out. That doesn't make any sense. Look, Adam. There's a reason this company's under attack. You think it has to do with the typhoon or with some other top secret military project that I haven't told you about? The thought had crossed my mind. Yeah, well, it doesn't. The work Megan's team was doing before they were killed, it was redefining what it means to be human. This company, Seraph Industries, was about to lead mankind to its next stage in human development. Self-controlled evolution. Can't you see how scary that can be to some people? Sure. I also see how lucrative it can be for some others. It's never been about money for me, Adam. But you're right. There are people out there who don't exactly feel the same. Like who? I'm hoping you'll be able to find that answer for us in China. So get going. Farida's prepping the chopper. You have your orders, Adam. Meet Farida at the helipad as soon as you're ready. Where the hell are you, Jensen? I haven't gone all night. I told you, I had to brief Sarah first. I see. I guess I never realized how much of a brown noser you were. I'm not a brown noser, Francis. I just enjoy keeping you on edge. Ten minutes, Jensen. Make it snappy. accompanying Mr. Tiger to the charity dinner tonight. I must head to Utah instead. 